Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you my final setup and with all the uh, things that I'm using to prevent drafts and also any critters are coming in here. So let's just start back over here. So I got all my final wires here. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The last one I put in here was yesterday, actually, was the uh, MLA 30, which is this one right here, the stock version. Um, I have room for a couple of more, but I chose not to put them up here because I have enough up here. I want to save the other couple of them for the basement in the boiler room. And if I need another one, actually, and, and I have enough for one, maybe, or two. But if I need another, I can just make another one here or over here. To make it more, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, that, the, somebody called me asked me about that. Uh, my wife made that for me. That is a, uh, uh, it's a kind of machine. It's a, it's a machine that makes decals. It's called Cricut. So, I told her if you could make my call sign so I can put it right here. And uh, so it could look a little more, you know, give it that little shack look. So, she made that for me. Okay, and uh, I told to make it that size, and because I might use his, excuse me, I might I told to make it that size because I might use some, it might do some things here later on. But right now it looks good, it's nice, it's solid, and finally I seal the window, and I'll show you what I did. And like I said, I was gonna put a wood block, so I put one here. That's gonna prevent this window from opening. The bottom part of the window from opening, and then the top window from opening down. Excuse me, I put another block up there, and that's it. And I, I, I couldn't get any narrow, narrow wood. Okay, so uh, I just used that. It's not pretty, but you know what? It's fine. It gets, oh, excuse me, it gets the job done. Okay, like I said, it's not pretty, but that's it. Now this window cannot be open from the top or the bottom. Okay. So now this window is locked, and it's gonna be like this uh, because right now, you know, of course, yeah, and summer's up, uh, summer's ending, and I'm gonna be using the fan on the other window. So that's it. I finally close it up, and inside there, uh, I had several ideas with the stuff, but I decided to go with the black grocery bags. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of them. I have a whole bunch of them downstairs in a big bag. So this is what I did. I take this, like a wad of it, and just stuff it in there. You know, you got to keep stuffing it in there. And uh, so right now on this side, there's three bags. Three of these bags are stuffed in there. And then on the outside, for the outside area, before I lock this window down, I put three more. On the other side. So there's six bags in here. Total seal. That's it. No, ain't nothing coming in here. Ain't no draft coming in here. Ain't no uh, critters or nothing coming in here. And trust me, I done that with bigger holes than this one in the boiler room. It was an old um, dryer vent. And I stuffed it with plastic bags and it does the job. Yeah, uh, but I use more. I use more down there. It was a whole bunch of them, but it wasn't necessary because the cables already uh, occupied most of the the pipe. So I put three plastic bags in here, three plastic bags on the other side. That's it. It's all jammed in there. It's, there's nothing. Nothing's gonna come in there. Okay. And then over here, I'm gonna show you what I did on the top. So what I did on the top is I had a I had a couple of these, so I had the spare one. It's like a pool noodle, but it's actually uses for this one. Is actually used this for uh, to insulate pipes. So I just cut it. I made a, a, a it's actually the longer pieces are in there. I cut them like this. I don't know. I just did it with a scissor because I didn't have um I couldn't find my box cutter. So I made a few of these strips, and I jammed it in there. Okay. Uh, it, basically, it's just like a pool noodle, but this is for the uh, by, for the uh, pipe. It's good for insula insulating pipe. And I have a few of these in the basement. I have I have them all over my basement. So I just took one of these, and I said use it. You can also use backer rod. Uh, you can buy a roll of it, 
Uh, that's what they used to cover the cracks on the sidewalk and all that. And the joints. I'm going to put the link below for that. I'll uh, put the link below for the um, backer rod, which is actually better because it's, it's already rounded. You just, it's a long, it's a, you know, like 20 feet of it or whatever it is. You can cut it with a scissor easily and stuff it in there. That would actually work better. But this works pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks inside there. So as you can see, I put two layers. I put this one underneath this one. So this is the second layer of the uh, the foam. So it completely sealed the gap. Okay. And I'm just going to put a piece of um, painter's tape just for good measure. You know, and that's it. It's just, just going to sealed. Okay, ain't nothing coming in here. All right, so that's what I did. Okay, uh, so there's a great suggestion about the pool noodle. So I took it a step further. I actually, uh, you, I'm going to use it for here. Because I believe they told me to use it for down there for the, uh, but it, it, um, I, I don't know if he meant also here, but anyway, it worked out actually. So I put two, uh, there's another strip underneath this one. So this is the second layer. I, the other one is shoved in there, it's all the way in here. And let me see if you can see it on the other side, actually. Let me go. Oh, you can see it bulging a little bit over here and there. Sorry about that. I'm on the ladder right now, so I'm sorry if I'm shaking. Okay, so please chill. <laughs> Seriously, yo. I, I don't want to fall from here. So there you go, okay? So uh, that'll work fine. Back around is more better because just one continuous strip and it's rounded. It would have been more perfect to put the back rod. I may get the back rod later on anyway and just take this one out and put the back rod. But right now, this will do. And um, there you go, okay? So now this window is shut. But the blocks is totally shut. It's not going to be, it's not going to open, cannot open. Especially from the outside. Okay? So you can see it there. Of course, the back row would have been better. And eventually, I'll just get the back row later on. But for now, this will do. So let's wrap this up. So there you go. Okay. So find the uh, finalize uh, radio listening amateur slash ham radio window pass through. Okay. So this is my setup. And if I want to add more, I can drill another hole. And add another one, or I can do something over here on this side. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. There's a couple of things I have in, in mind, including running um, ground. Maybe try to run some kind of ground. Anybody give me any suggestions? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Okay? So there you go. So all done and ready for a season, you know, uh, fall coming up and winter for some radio listening and some amateur radio, some ham radio uh, stuff. Okay? So there you go. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video. And also, subscribe to my channel. Okay? And if you want to donate to this channel, you want to help out the channel, um, you can send me a, uh, right there's a button below for the super thanks. Um, also when I'm online, you could, you know, super chat, you could donate any dollar amount. It could be as little as a dollar. I would appreciate it. And also I have a PayPal. It's on my, uh, about, it's also on the banner above. It's my PayPal account. You can send me directly to PayPal. Okay. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.